All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hill Creek Outdoors got another install and review on a new product here that was sent from Kimi Motos once again. They sent us a UTV shock tower LED light. All right, so we're going to be installing that today, reviewing it, and then doing a little uh, application on it and seeing how well it, it rides and lights up around the property. So we appreciate you guys coming back to the channel once again. Um, that part does go right here on the 2022 Polaris Ranger XP 1000 um, with this brush guard, the front grill here guard on the Ranger. So we're going to go ahead and get into this video and install it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's go. All right, so let's go ahead and see what's in the box. Um, this part here comes just with the LED light and the brackets and all that stuff. You have the owner manual here, or the pro product manual. Gives you all the detailed instructions how to install it. So you can take advantage of those. Comes with the um, wiring kit. It's four to wire straight up to the battery. Um, and then obviously the light. But we're gonna go ahead and wire it up to a switch. So I went ahead and purchased a, a switch off Amazon and once again all the description or in the description below you're gonna have the link to all this stuff um, where you can buy it and the product information so we went ahead and purchased another switch because um, I wanted it on a switch instead of just when you turn the key on so we'll show you how to wire this stuff up and um, install it and we'll give you some good information as we go we're gonna go ahead and have to move inside guys because I believe it's gonna start raining but while we're doing this you're going to go ahead, um, we want to plug it up to the pulse bar on the Polaris Ranger. It just makes it nice and easy, plug and play pulse bar. So we're with this uh, switch. Um, so what comes in the actual kit from Kimimoto is this right here. You're going to have two little pieces that will connect to the wire. So I'm going to get all this wired up, taken care of to where we can go ahead and install it. Um, you guys... I'm sure could figure this out, so I'm not gonna show you it on camera. So now we got everything taken care of, everything's wired up. Um, so now all we gotta do is install the bracket, throw the light on, hook it up, and then we'll show you how to put the uh, pulse bar on, and then run the switch and install that into the Ranger. Guys, it's starting to rain outside, so we pulled in. Um, so we're going to go ahead and finish up in here so you can take all this stuff off. We're going to take the hood off. That way we can access our ports and our pulse bar. Pretty simple to do. All right, so we're going to go ahead and install the bracket here. It comes with uh, two rubber pieces. You never want metal on metal, so we're going to go ahead and put this on here. Make sure this is cleaned off real well. And we're going to put it on just like so. Has a sticky end. So it'll stick. Put this right down on top. And you're going to use the provided bolts and nuts. You're going to use the long ones for this. They come with a locking water, or nut. Put it down through. Put the other one through. So just so you guys know, it's going to be a half inch nut on the back side. And then the Allen on top is going to be a 3 16 obviously finger tight start. And you want to make sure you do it evenly. So once we got the bracket on there, nice and straight and solid, we're gonna go ahead and put the light on. And for the bolt here, it's gonna have another Allen. And that Allen is gonna be a 5.30 seconds. So you're gonna put the uh, 
locking washer on and then the normal washer slip it through here we'll get this one side started first and obviously don't tighten this down because you're going to want to adjust it and we will adjust it probably later this evening and show you guys the brightness and all that so let me get this somewhat snugged on here where we can still move it a little bit and we'll start the wiring process all right so now we're going to go ahead and run our wire here's our switch that we got hooked up to the wire that comes with the kimimoto part well i think we're going to run it on this side and come out the grill down there at the bottom by the light and we'll show you how we got that once we run it we ran that wire right down through here came through and then we're going to go ahead and hook it up so when you hook it up this snaps in and it's water seal so you'll hear it snap just like that and then we're going to go ahead and pull it right back through that way all we see is a wire push that in there and then it runs right up through here and pull it tight and then we're going to run the rest of the switch to the pulse bar all right so we got this all laid out we're going to take the relay and we're going to mount it right here just like that and we'll go ahead and take the plug and play pigtail to go into the pulse bar so you'll remove this cap, just like so, and just snap it in. And we'll zip tie all this stuff up to make it look real slick in a minute. And then we're gonna take our switch here. We're gonna run it right through here. What I'm gonna do is actually unsnap this part of it, run this through, and then we'll take the dash off and hook this part back up inside so we're not gonna damage this in any way. Inside here, gonna go ahead and remove the uh, cup holder there, that center console piece. You gotta do a couple bolts right there um, to take the windshield up enough to where you can get it out. Look at that light there. Another Kimimoto part. We use it for a dome light, but you can also take it out, use it as a flashlight, just wraps around. So take a look at that. Let's get this pulled out. We're gonna install that switch right there and we'll get her done. All right, so we got our uh, cup holders off. We're gonna put it right here. So get you a little drill and always drill pilot holes before you cut. We're gonna drill four pilot holes. We're gonna cut this out. We'll throw our switch in and then run all the wires. So let's go ahead and run our connector through here, push it through, and then we'll pull it from the inside, and then we'll put our switch in. We can kind of see it coming up through here. We'll pull it nice and there we go. So now we got our switch. Make sure it's the right way. We're going to throw the cord in first. And we'll grab it from the other side, bring it up through, we'll slip our switch right in. We might have to trim it out a little bit more. Oh, it looks like it's going to fit perfect. Fits perfect. We're going to run the wire underneath the hoses for the heater system. Hopefully I'm not in your guys' way to see. A little tight hole here. We're gonna go ahead and connect these back up. It's connected. Put the wires up in there. Now, before we throw our cup holder back on, a moment of truth, key on, boom, it's working. So let's wrap everything up, throw the, the um, cup holder back in, tie everything up real nice. We'll show you what the outcome is and show you how bright it is as well as adjust the front to where it's shining where we want it. 
What a great time to wipe everything down too while you have everything out. Get it cleaned up nice and fresh. Make sure you tighten your light down once you get it adjusted right. I'm going to show you how we got everything zip tied up nice and neat. Put through there. That plug and play to the pulse bar for them pigtails really make it work easy. Simple process. Watch out, bud. And then there you go inside. Cup holder, everything back. Nice light switch. Matches with blue. We'll get some night videos here. We're just going to go ahead and turn the light on. Look how much brighter that is. Step out here and take a look at this. Real wide. Looks real nice there. It's almost dark. Just getting dusk here. I mean, you can see how bright that really is. We're going to head down the driveway here where it's a little bit dark with no lights and show you what it looks like. So this is your normal lights going down the driveway. If we turn on the, that, look how much brighter that is. It's off. Let's turn the brights on. It's the normal bright lights for the Polaris Ranger. Turn the LED light on. It gives you a real wide, bright light. And let's go ahead and Turn the main lights off. Turn the LED light on. Look how bright that is. Here is the LED light going up by itself. Turn it off. Turn the main lights on. Low. High. LED light. with the bright lights on, low beams, LED alone, LED off. So we got the install all taken care of, everything nice and easy, very simple install. I think you guys can do it in probably 30 minutes um, if you're uninter uninterrupted. Um, so we got that switch installed. Switch is going to be really nice to turn it on and off. Um, you can wire it directly, um, but I wanted to throw a switch on there. But thank you to Kimimoto once again for sending us this product. Um, as you can see in the night, on the night videos there, outstanding light that it's going to produce. It's a great slick appearance. Matches really well with the black on black and the gray for the this particular color for the Polaris Ranger XP1000. So I think we're going to really enjoy it. Don't forget that all the information for this product is going to be in the description below. Um, so take advantage of that. Take a look at it. And once again, we appreciate each and one of you coming back to the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time here on Hill Creek Outdoors, we'll see you.